basic uh, closed guard. We grab the sleeve. See, you've got to grip the sleeve and you've got to do the this grip here. So when he pulls his arm, he yanks it out. It's kind of just hanging there and stuck. Feet on the ground. Hip out to the street. Knees come in. Split the arms. My elbow's not out. In, so I don't want space in here. I want that lock like that. And here we are. Number one. If he if he walks to his right, just move around that way. My right leg stops him passing. <coughs> Do that. He walks the other way. My left leg stops him passing. He he comes. He runs away. That's the weakness of the guard because it's only held by my grips, and we'll talk about that later. But that's the weakness. But I can still hold it. If he comes forward, my feet stop him. So in his mind, Talarico started doing this. And he, because he originally was a butterfly guard player, and he said, instead of doing my butterfly guard in here, I'm going to do my butterfly guard inside his arms. That makes more sense, and I'll get hold of this grip, grip here. So he can't go left, he can't go right, he can't go forward, he can't go back. So in his brain, he says, well, I'll stand up. So he stands up. And at that point, you elevate him. So the first sweep for spider guards, front sweep. That was his first sweep. Right, you get the spider guard, you frustrate them, they stand up in front of you. That's number one. And then after that, we're going to do everything else. So that's the first, the fact that there's a lot of drama on my fingers. Okay? So how do you... So after a while, he went, oh. Right like that. And so what do we do now? Watch what I'm going to do, the arm lasso. So this is the way I learned it. Take my foot over, hook it under there. Now what that does is I use my hook so he can't pull back quite as hard, right? In running away. My legs taken some of the drama as opposed to my fingers. So that's what I did learn to do, come over and hook under. But look at Darren's posture. Look at his shoulders and spine. Nothing happened. Or is Higgins, this is how Higgins explained to me. Did the expression on his face change? If the answer is no, it's wrong. Pretty, that's pretty good. Like, that's a clue right there. Because it means he's comfortable. Okay, so watch. Sideways. See that window I make here? Put the hook, grab his back, see with my hook, foot, I grab his back. Now square up, pull him in, and then kick back. Now his face, he's working with me. See the, his face changing. Which means the guard, in and of itself, is messing him up. Just like side control, if you do it right, in and of itself, should be a drama for the guy. Well, guard's no different. So if my guard's not stressing him out, it might occur to him to pass. <laughs> so the, the guard has to stress him, right? So, number one, we push with our right foot and turn 90 degrees. Two, we weave this foot over, get the lasso, and hook his back. See, hook the back, not, not his arm, the back. Now, as you square back up, that knee will pull to your shoulder and turn on the left hip. Watch. And then you kick this. This is just the basic spider guard, no sweeps yet. But he's obviously freaking out and then he, that'll compel him to do things that I will capitalize on. Okay? So the first thing he'll do, he won't like it, he'll stand on his feet. All right, so you got the lasso and the foot. Now, if he walks around to his right, you pull this knee down and kick this foot up. If he walks to the left, you pull the right foot down and kick this foot up. Right, so that it's steering. So I go here, here, like that. Knee to the ground and the other foot high. All right, and that's the part that made, that's one of the two things that made the biggest difference to the spider guard for me. The fact that with the way you do it is messing him up and the steering controls. Alright, it's the spider guard equivalent of, you know, someone's in your cl close guard and you break him down and you break him down and you break him down. Just, you haven't done anything yet but you're just messing them up. It's the spider guard equivalent of that. Or if you're on side control, putting your weight on well and pressure and all that, it's the spider guard equivalent of that. And then everything else is going to work better, okay? Let's do that. Right, this way. Right here, over, through, here, there. And what does he do? He stands up. Okay? So the first thing is, I look at his posture. It's not good. So, foot in the hip. 
the front wheel. All right, so because if you had a closed guard and I stood up in your closed guard with bad posture, you'd front sweep me. So do that, all right? So you see what I'm saying? It, it, it's always important to do the thing you're already good at because everyone on this mat's probably done front sweep. And some of you, if you're a brown belt, you, you, you know, you've done front sweep you know, heaps of times for a long time. So you've got it in your DNA. So let's take advantage of that. Drag him in there, no problem. We can end up doing the spider guard, do those sweeps, but he's running away. Shoot, now I can't so much bring him in. I can't do the front sweep. He's too far for the back sweep, I can't grab his legs. Because I blew it. I, I should have dragged, well I did, but he moved away afterwards. But ideally you can do it if you drag the guy as he's standing. So, I, oh, it's too late. I didn't do it and Patrick ran away. Okay, so he stands up on his feet. Okay, uh, but, but just pulling backwards. In other words, he's fleeing the scene, which is the, the way to deal with spider guard guys. Just gently run away, non-stop. If you go forward, you're gonna die. Okay, so the, the strategy for spider guard is flee, run away. It, it might have just least frustrate the guy. But watch what I'm gonna do. Put my hook down here. Shallow up, this goes from there to shallow. Invert, try him. All right, so now here's a shiny object, which is what people usually like to do. But I'm telling you, front sweep and back sweep will work nine out of 10 times. This is just a shiny object. That was developed because he did, he's sick of getting front sweep and back sweep, you know, because we're one year into it and Pat's going, nah, I'm sick of this crap, he's playing. So then we got to invert. And people like inverting now. <laughs> Everyone wants to invert. Okay, so so here, okay. I drag Patrick in. I try to pull him forward. He's running away. Hook in here. This leg's got to shallow up. Invert to there. Go grab his leg. See my leg's not through like that. It's shallow. Up and triangle my arm. So I've got round the front here, up, triangle, drive him down, and then go to side control. All right, so we'll do it. Put on in the piece before he even stands up. This was Hegan Machado's favorite move, I think when he was either a blue or a purple belt. This was his favorite competition <coughs> move as a kid, like 14 or something. Now, it's interesting, so what happened here was, for me to arm drag down really well, the worst case would be if I was here, you know, and I got the arm over here and put it there, right? More normal is if I was here and you grab it and arm drag it, but the ideal thing would be if I was here, because net right, and that's if you're standing up, so if we're standing up, and I wanted to arm drag, I wouldn't go from here, I'd be here, pushing you back, I'd try to get a little angle, and then hit that shot. So that way I'm only dragging a tiny little bit and then you know, getting the value out of it. So it's the same thing here. So when, when we're like that, and we do our arm triangle, um, and now, see I'm in front of, down, right in, right in the front, now I'm gonna get out of the way. Watch. So if I'm in the corridor, look, I get out of the corridor. Now when I undo the, Lasso, you see what he didn't realize? <laughs> see, he, he was thinking spider guard and I've just got an angle, but now when I take it out, I've got his arm past my center line already. Up, pull, bang, see if I grip. Really, really good, simple stuff. That was Higgins' favorite thing. Uh, one of his favorite ways to get the back, but he said that was his favorite competition. At, at one whole belt, he said everyone just did that to him. Spider guard. Got the angle, I'm bred. Uh, well, I'll show you. There's a couple of ways, there's about five ways to do it, but this is the basic one. I put my last two there. I put my other foot over there as well. Two feet. I go over here and grab his pants. If he's trying to pass around my garden now, then he comes around here, 
and he gives me the pants and then achieves the same thing. If he doesn't move, then I've got to go there, but I have to get there. Now I'm going to use this leg to drag him over there toward Amy, onto this shin. And then use the shin to punch him away. You see? That sweep. Who's done that sweep before? Quite a few of you have done it. Right, the most basic version is just this. Okay, this is not strategy. Now watch this, this is what, how Hegan does this sweep. It's so Hegan. He goes over with the lasso, he puts the other one there, and then he kicks both knees straight through, and lies it like that. And he's gonna go jump on me, side control, side control. Yeah. They can't not do it. <laughs> he thought it was a good idea, you see. So you see the difference? It's a very different idea, completely different. So, left leg over, right leg through. Now, you, you, I know your left knee will not want to go through because you'll instinctively want to keep something in there. That's your instinct, all right? No, push it right through and grab his pants and like that. He'll go chest to chest on you, Flatten your left leg into the ground. He'll be light. You better drive over with your hand and go to side control. What's going on? See, all this stuff that we've done today has been based on this concept that we can get this lasso in here. So, you know, he's sick of that now. So, so as I do that, he hides that arm. I can't get my lasso in there anymore. Right? So we're going to put it under the other arm. Put this foot on the ground. And sweep like that. So we're doing a cross lasso. Lasso. Right. So I go to the side. I try to put my lasso in there, can't. Other arm. Square up. Now when I first learned this, I had trouble because I was trying to use my hook to pull him forward. The key to it is this. Because I watched what Higgins did, not what he said. You slide that from the bottom third of my shin to the top third. Now you've got a lot more power out of your hip flexor. Otherwise it's quads. Hip flexor is better than quads. Kill the arm, punch it out there, establish side control. Okay, so cross lasso, let's do that. Thanks. So slide it up your shin. Okay, attacking right from here. Again, the first thing that should occur to us is what attacks do we already know from close guard? Right, so we know Amba, we know Kimura from close guard. Um, we know Omoplata, we know Triangle. So the first thing is always that, can I do those, right? Okay, um, Amba, Amba, we're gonna bring our foot up, hook his neck. The way I did this wrong for a long time was I pull him in and then try to throw my leg over here. But remember how we all did an armbar from the guard the first time? When we all tried to get our foot somewhere over like that, and then we realized we've got to turn the corner, like as if we we're on a mount. So that's the thing. We're gonna grab here, I'm gonna release this hand, and pull with this hand and my foot. Pull, grab. Five times, pull, grab. Right, so I really need to pull him with my leg, which is pretty strong. Pull him with our leg in there and grab. Five times. Then the next thing we're going to do is, as we do that, we angle out of the way. Pull, grab. Chop, lock. And that's the armbar from the guard. Or I, I often call it uh, Hodge's armbar because Roger Machado, that was uh, one of his favorite tournament finishes from Spider Guard. Okay. Way back. All right, to the ground, grab his wrist, sit up. Get the arm, pull him back down. I've, I don't think I've ever made that work in my entire life. <laughs> uh, it's kind of, it's one of those things that everyone does learn it in BJJ. And I guess it's, it's, it's kind of, there's a, a lot of problems with BJJ. There's a lot of problems with everything. But the, the problem with BJJ is that that will work against someone who doesn't know anything. But that, only, that, that environment of you not knowing anything only lasts for about eight minutes. <laughs> and then you all know, and then it's not there anymore. So then BJJ can become very divergent. You know, it can become 
this art that evolves to deal with people who really know what they're doing, but not to deal with people who don't know anything. But if you just do the low brow stuff, let's assume he doesn't know anything, have his hands on the ground, then you don't get the... So you see there's, that's the two different ways to look at it. Um, but I've never had success with grabbing that because he already knows I'm going to go pure. By the time he already knows, he already knows. So it's asking a lot of him to not do anything for a long time. What I find works is this. So I grab his hand and attack his elbow with my knee to bring him down to me and then do that. That, that I think is much more successful. Um, so with that in mind, we're going to do that here. So what I'm going to do here is what I call the Zebra Kimura. It's a concept and I use it for different attacks, uh, meaning that I want to separate the zebra from the herd and eat it. So, sorry, vegans. But uh, the problem that you'll have with the Kimura, uh, and armbars actually, but Kimuras especially, is when you're trying to do the Kimura on someone, the other hand is in here and getting grabbed and it's all combat. But if you can separate it out there and stick a whole lot of stuff in there so it can't get back, then it's easy to get because it's all lonely and you eat it. Okay. So what, that's what we're going to do here. One, I'm going to put my hook. See, I need to go from this grip to that grip. So we're going to put our hook there so he can't get his hand away while we do a grip change. Right, because if I try to grab his wrist now, he pull it away. Ah, right? So we go, put the brakes on, grab. That's the first thing. Put the brakes on, grab. And then we go, grab. And it never comes back to his body. It can stay stuck out here. I pull it down my leg and then do the Kimura. The other thing is this leg can just be running interference over here. Okay, because that is mama zebra. This is baby zebra. I can't let those two things get together. It's all about zebras. Okay, what animals, hyenas, goldfish, giraffes, and zebras. One, two, three, and while I pull it down, the other leg is kind of running interference on that arm, so he can't get a good base. And then there's the Kimura. You see what? You see why it works? It's because it's separated. It can't come back and do all these kind of things. It's all out there by itself. That's what. That's how you want to do it. Okay? You got to find that enemy by himself. Nah. <laughs> not with his friends. It's basic. Okay? This is not the ideal of Plata. Although it's pretty easy. I mean, it helps if you know Plata. If you don't know Plata, bad luck. But. Um, this is not too difficult to do. Uh, I can do it a couple, I'll do it this way. I'll put the opposite leg up, okay? Only because I want to pull all oh, my plata <coughs> my right leg. But we could do it this way, but then it'll be left leg on my plata. So, right leg up there, and pull his arm below sea level, below the belly, okay? So, here, hand down there. Now, I put the leg there, as I pull this hand down, I chop his head off. <laughs> What's she saying? What is that? Just This is lovely. <laughs> One. So now as I pull his arm, chop his head. So I've done half the turn for the omoplata. All I've got to do is turn that extra little bit, and we're there for the omoplata. All right? So we're going. Head chop on the fighter. Okay? Triangle is probably, was probably the first attack I learned from Spider Guard. But I, I learned it the wrong way. I learned it like this. That's, it's never going to work. What you got to do with the triangle, I put one foot on the shoulder, okay? And just cross my ankles. Don't go for the triangle. Just your ankles and squeeze your knees. That way you can't get the other hand in. You can't get this one out. So I, 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 what do you call it? Preserve the status quo of having one arm in and one arm out. If I go for the triangle, it's, it's too loose for too long. It's great at the end, but there's a really bad gray area in the middle where he can get away. So um, one, snap. Okay, next thing down. I'm gonna lift my hip as high as I can and get two straight arms on the outside of this elbow, okay? Straight up. Because now, when he tries to take his arm back other side, he can't. It's two arms against one. He can't get his arm back. Then I lower him down, grab my knee, in a way where his arm's stuck, 
Grab my foot. So see I've got like that. Now this foot on the ground. Run, 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 until I can get it on his hip. All right, now, if you're short, you can get on his hip easier. Right. Angle, lock it, choke my knee, choke his head, lock my hands. That's the way to do the triangle. The best way. <laughs> One, snap, don't touch his arms, let him go. If I try to pull his arm across, he'll fight it, let it go. I pump the hip high in the air, get two stiff arms on that side. Now he won't take it back. Then I can bring him down, then grab my knee, then grab my foot, then run, 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 block, angle. Now I lock it. I'm, I can't do it because he'll pass out. But when I, I'm going to go loose, just to save him. But now look, I, I go from this to there, from there to there, elbow, and from here to this hand. That's the grip. So I'm going to go from here, one, two, and that will add 20% or 30% of power because we, see what this foot does in triangle is just stop this foot from going down. But it do, this foot does not help the squeeze. But this, so you see we're getting the squeeze with this grip. So it's like a double lock. This leg is just holding this leg in place. And what's going on is that is the triangle. Okay, you'll see. <laughs> Your head will come off. Ready? Go quick.